Hi, my name is Robert Mack, and today we'll be talking about how is the fall market in 2018? More specifically, is it a good time to buy a home? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. So is it a good time to buy a home? If you're watching this video, it's a very good chance you've heard of me talking about the market shifting a little bit. It's a very good chance you've kind of felt it or seen it on the news. And I'm here to tell you that the market is, is becoming more normalized over time. We experienced a very aggressive seller's market for the last six and a half years. Prices significantly appreciated. And now we're just kind of stabilizing, flattening out a little bit and kind of getting back to a more normal market. So what does that mean for buyers? Well, it means some relief, which is some great news. I'm going to talk about four things today, rapid fire. Number one, we're going to talk about inventory. Inventory is rising in some areas as high as 15% more inventory in some areas as much as 40% more inventory. What does that mean for you? More options. Yay. I mean, if you've been looking for properties in the last five years, it's been a challenge finding a great property. You find the property, you submit an offer. There's four or five, 10 other offers. You get outbid. It was crazy. It was mayhem. Now there's more options to choose from. You've got more time to think about it. You've got more time to see properties. You've got more time to make a decision and you're not going to be competing with so many other buyers because there are other options. In addition, as inventory rises, demand will fall. So that's a great thing for the buyers. Number two, interest rates. Now, interest rates are slowly rising over time. They will fluctuate over time, but what's important for you to understand as a buyer is that when you buy a home, the price is a one-time thing. You're actually buying the interest rate. A lot of our clients are saying, Robert, if the market is stabilizing and flattening out, we'll just wait a year and maybe get a home for a better deal in a year. Well, that may in fact happen. You may actually be able to buy a home for less in one year than now. The challenge is, what if the rates go from 5% to 5.5%? You're actually gonna be spending more money per month to buy a home that you bought for less. So that doesn't really make sense, does it? So talking to a lender, understanding how the interest rates affect you and your purchase, big, big deal. One of the most important steps when we start talking to clients about buying a home. Number three, pending sales activity. What that means is how many homes are selling uh, on a monthly basis? Well, pending sales activity is down between 20 and 25%. So inventory is rising, more options for buyers. Homes are taking longer to sell and less of them are selling, which means inventory continues to grow. Demand will continue to fall. And you as a buyer have a lot more choices to choose from, a lot more time to make the decision and you might even be able to get a better deal, but keep your eye on those interest rates. The last part of the, the video today I wanna to talk about, number four is mindset. The mindset is crucial. A lot of the buyers we're working with are saying, you know what, the market is going, is it going up? Is it going down? Is it flattening out? What do we do? And this fear, this uncertainty is creating paralysis. Well, think about the last five years. All the buyers we were working with were complaining about how there was no inventory and how there were no options and how every time they found a beautiful home, there was 10 other buyers that wanted it. Well, now you got what you wished for. More homes, they're taking longer to sell, better deals are out there. So look at this as an opportunity. Is it a good time to buy for everybody? Probably not. Is it a great time for some and maybe not a not so great time for others? Absolutely. So if you're thinking about buying, now is the time to get connected with the lender, connect yourself with a realtor, look at your financial situation, take a look at your needs, your wants, analyze all that, figure out your why, how is your life gonna change if you buy a property? Consider everything, because now there's a huge opportunity to buy a great property at a great price while still securing that low interest rate. So thank you so much for watching. If you found value and you found this on social media, give me a thumbs up or a comment or a share. If you got this via email and you know somebody that's thinking about buying that might benefit from watching this video, shoot it over to them. We would appreciate the love. If you are thinking about buying or want to learn more about the buying process, you can reach out to me uh, or my team. Our contact information is on the screen. And if you've got any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way as well. Until then, happy selling.